You know, I'm not used to this quite yet. But it's really cool. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back here in Abu Blockburg. So I was waiting for this very moment for new Halloween items to come out to be able to decorate my IRL dream house. So I decided why not decorate it for the spooky season. It is October 11th now. Getting a little bit closer to Halloween. Well, first things first, I'm kind of broke. I'll be right back. I'm broke. I'm broke. Okay, I saw something. I feel like there are a lot of things I could improve with the outside of this house. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, I gotta close everything. I gotta close everything. Hold on. Let's go into decorate and into new. So yeah, yesterday was the Halloween fall update. We got a lot of things. Oh my god, okay, okay. Forgot a couple of things to show you guys. If you eat bubble gum, you know, you take the chewy bubbles candy and you eat it. There's a chance that you will be able to blow a bubble. It's random, so... It's not each time though. Ooh, look, a blue one. All right, so the next thing is if you grab a trick-or-treating basket or a pillowcase, if you go up to a door, instead of knocking, it'll say, trick-or-treat, trick-or-treat, trick-or-treat. And the very last thing, I think, I think, hopefully I'm not missing anything else. If I am, I'm gonna cry. Uh, if you want to make a pumpkin spice latte, you can make it at your house with the espresso machine. So yeah, instead of just going to the pumpkin pumpkin aplenty stand in the town, you can also make your own pumpkin spice latte very easily. Okay, so let's go ahead and start decorating this house for Halloween. It is once again my main house. What should we do first? Okay, let's get the buckets of candy. Let's just get a patio end table. It just looks kind of fancy. The trick-or-treaters, they can help themselves. Spider candy bowl here. And then we'll put the eye candy bowl. Take one piece of candy, thank you. I kind of want to put a sign for that too. Maybe I'll put it like right here. <laughs> so there's some uh, bowls of candy out for the trick-or-treaters. And then I'm gonna change my doorbell since we do have new doorbells. They don't make any different noises, but it's really nice that they added some different doorbells now. Oh yeah, we should definitely put some happy pumpkin mans outside the house too. I don't know if I should put it right there. Maybe I'll put it in the yards. Yeah, my yard is looking a bit plain anyway. I'm just gonna put them everywhere, you know? I'm just gonna put them everywhere. They don't cost, oh, they do cost a bit. Oh gosh, very nice. We got company now. The house isn't so lonely anymore. Uh, maybe some emerging skeletons too. I feel the need to just put them everywhere. So would include some like candy buckets too, like outside. I think I would put it on the actual bench or something. And you can change the colors as well. Like I, I didn't change the colors in the update video because I just wanted to put them out. So good. Those are so good. All right. I love these empty candy baskets. I'm going to have to stock up on them. All right. And then I kind of want to use these paper lantern bags as well. I never really like heard of these before, but I, you know, at the same time, I don't really see them often. So, oh, warm lighting. Yes. Oh, yeah. We'll need a couple of scarecrows as well. I kind of wish I put in a garden area. Like, look at this landscaping. That is terrible. That is just so basic. A couple of scarecrows here. Maybe they'll watch you. Maybe they won't watch you. And then, of course, can't forget the inflatables. I will put those along the way on the road. So festive. What in the world? Not on this roof, apparently. But you can put on these roofs. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. I don't like that. <gasps> oh, and the ghosts on top of the... Oh, my God. This is perfect. Okay, I don't want to put it, like, in front of these windows. But I guess I'll put it up here. <laughs> That looks a little a little weird. It looks a little off, but whatever. I can put a pumpkin up here, but I can't put spiders up here. Excuse me. I'll, I'll just make it look like they're about to invade the house. Traditional, the traditional string light. Uh, and of course we're gonna need like some, these are tabletop pumpkins, but I like putting them on the ground. <laughs> I actually might add something to the porch too in the back. So blank out here. Let's just add a grill and then maybe add a nice table too. This is like Halloween-y. We should just make that orange or something. Oh, it's like candy corn. Yellow and orange and like white, sort of. I don't, I don't know. Okay, that's kind of like ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the darker colors work better together. Oh, it's so like Halloween-y. There we go. Ooh, that looks better, uh, slightly better. It was, it's better than nothing, you know? This is better than nothing. Okay, I need, I need to get more money, so I might go sell a house. <laughs> I'm gonna go be a real estate agent real quick. I'm gonna go sell a house real quick. I got a couple appointments, we are back. <clears throat> I'm gonna go sell a house. I, I, I sold a kind of a cheap house, so I only have 33k, but that should be, I think that's good enough. The new Halloween furniture is mostly for the outside anyway, so I can't really see myself adding too many things on the inside. Fun fact, there's no more filled candy bucket. These candy buckets are no longer a thing. Are these too many pumpkin men? Oh my god, so terrifying. Okay. Oh my god, they're so expensive. Jeez. On your way to go pick up your candy, you have to go see all of these things. Oh yeah, this is so nice! Oh my god! 
You know, Halloween is actually not my favorite um, holiday, but of course you guys know my favorite holiday is actually Christmas and my birthday. I don't know if your birthday counts as a holiday, but it is to me, so. <laughs> Like, decorating my house makes me kind of enjoy the, the holiday even more. Wow, see, the house is so festive now. It's so festive. Yeah, okay, let's just decorate the inside of the house now. Did I just put all the buckets in these cubbies? I'm gonna do it. Candy, candy, we got the candy. You want some candy? I've got the candy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I include some skeletons inside the house. Not creepy at all. Totally not creepy. Oh, yeah, tabletop pumpkins. This is definitely useful. I don't know how actually to face, what way to face this, but I'll just put it right there. Might change the color of my, my carpet, too. Just, I don't know. I just remember something. I think you can also color the candy. Oh yeah, you can color the lollipop. <gasps> wow, you can color the lollipop any color you want. But it's too bad you're gonna eat it anyway, so I don't think, I don't see a reason to really color them. But yeah, the lollipop is the only candy you can color in this game. So that's just another fun fact of the day. Some of my friends were decorating the inside of the, doing the decals as well. Thank you. I was really hoping for um, like Halloween themed like couches and stuff, but maybe they can do that next year. Most of the, the Halloween decorations are just like outdoor things, which is like, you know, understandable. That's the point is to just decorate the outside. But that takes a lot of work. Very thankful for what we have. Oh, maybe I could put like some regular pumpkins here for like pumpkin carving. We could have like a pumpkin carving session. That'd be so cute. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And then we could like grab the... Let's grab some knives. All right. Oh my gosh, my plot is very much Halloweened up. If that's a word, I Halloweened it. <laughs> I Halloweened up my house. So this is my house now. Um, a lot of the exciting things are on the right side. And then you have like the creepy, darker things on the left side, sort of. I don't know. I kind of wanted like an entrance. Okay, this is kind of dumb. This is kind of a dumb way of doing it, but I just gotta do it. You know, it's fine. It's just don't question, just don't question it. It's fine. And then I could take these off. Maybe I can make a ghost like orange. Ooh, ooh, and then some fairy lights. Oh, I forgot about the new caution tape. I should add, oh my God, I forgot about the caution tape. I'm not gonna pay for my house bills. Let's see, I should find a, like a clever way of adding this. I don't know, I'll just put like some simple caution tape in the corners of the, I, I can't afford the another caution tape, but that's fine. I have $5. A lot of you guys are richer than me now, see? I went a little bit extra with my Halloween decorations for this year. So this is how it turned out. It looks great, you know? <laughs> I like what I did with the fairy lights and the pillars. It kind of like has a nice entrance now towards the house. But yeah, to your left, you got the scarecrows and you have the, the graveyard sort of with some caution tape. And it's kind of like the more brighter, cartoony, ha like Halloween-y side, I don't know. Kind of nice, I like it. So yeah, as you make your way up here to get your candy, you got everything watching you. And then you walk up here, you grab your- Okay, well, let's just pretend we're trick-or-treating, you know? And then you're like, oh yeah, take one piece of candy. Can I actually put the poster decal? Oh yeah, yeah that's, you know, <laughs> that, uh, that's okay. That's an okay sign, but yeah. So that's the outside. And the inside, I didn't do too much exactly, but I did try to include like some indoor Halloween furniture items. I changed this carpet to orange, just this one, because everything else would have looked a little funny. So yeah, we have that. Got candy all over the table, some pumpkins, even more pumpkins over here in the kitchen area. I didn't really do anything in the bedrooms. I just kind of like decorated the living room and the great room. So yeah. And then I actually did finally add stuff to the back of the house now to the porch. So of course we got a little barbecue area, but at the same time, I kind of made this a little pumpkin carving session in case um, my friends come over. I've got the knives and yeah. It's very simple Halloween decorations. I think that's basically it for decorating my IRL dream house for Halloween. I might do some more. I think this is good enough for now with the new stuff. Very festive though. I still feel the Halloween spirit within this house. But yeah, anyway guys, that is basically it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, you found it dumb, silly, interesting, or inspiring in a way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you guys want to continue watching any other Roblox videos on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I'll talk to you in the next videos. Stay tuned, stay healthy, have a wonderful day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye everybody.